Hey guys, my name is E, as in like... Suspicious. And welcome to my channel. How are you doing? That's great. So today, we're gonna be having a silly goofy time. I stole this idea. Fraud, love, plagiarism, basically. Crime, theft, criminal. So I stole this amazing idea from the amazing, the talented, stunning Kumax on YouTube. Make sure to go give her a subscription or a view or like because she's amazing. Today we're going to be ranking Genshin Impact characters based on if I can absolutely annihilate them in a fight. Mm -hmm. Not a fight with weapons or, or magic or catalysts or books or whatever. This is a good fair fashion fight. Good old fisticuffs. No visions allowed. Just fists like how God intended. Am I overestimating my martial arts skills. <laughs> Is it possible to think that I even have a chance against any of these highly trained individuals? No, no, but we're living in my delusion. In my delusion, I win. We're gonna see, we're gonna rank the characters based on how much I would kick their butts in a fight. So let's get our screen recording going. Okay, so here's my little screen. Hi, how are you? So we've got five different categories. We've got the first category up here, which is I'm annihilating. It's quiet. Ain't no back to walk. I get into the ring with this character. They're down. They get John Cena into the ground, right? I'm winning, no questions asked. The second category right here is called, I win, but what did it cost me? Everything. So this is a fight where I may be standing at the end of it, but I'm being rushed to the ER, all right? I'm in critical condition. It's not looking good for me, but it's looking worse for the other person, okay? The middle one right here is called Fair Fight. It's like that moment when Tetsu 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 Full name and Kirishima are fighting in the ring of my hero that they fight so hard and so equally that they just knock each other out at the same time so it's just a tie that's that energy in that category right there the second to last one is I get one punch in um call me one punch man <laughs> don't I'm not bald yeah this category is where I'm not seeing the light of day again but I at least get a good tug on the hair right I get at least a good a good slap across the face. All that for a drop of blood, very much. The last one is, I'm checked before a word gets out. I can't even get a word out to even provoke the fight because I'm I'm already down. I'm already six feet under the It's done for me. Send flowers from my casket, yeah? So with that out of the way, let's just get into it. Let's have a good time. Okay, so the first character on the list is Albedo. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna say I get one punch in. I get one because <laughs> I'm not gonna joke around because my man looks calm, collected, put together on the outside. But there's something, there's something behind the eyes. You know, we know that behind those bug eyes. We know he's got potential to destroy all of Mondstadt, which is a whole city. He, he kicked my ass, yeah, but I'd gank on the braid. He's got potential for evil, so I'm just not gonna mess around with that. Next, we have Alloy. I don't know her. She doesn't even go here. So just on that principle, I'm beating her up. Amber? Amber's Amber Amber's too nice. I think she'd be like, let's go get honey roast instead. Like, let's, you know, uh, uh. I'm be like, no. And the first thing I'm going for is going for the bow. Done. She's she lost her bow, her weird bunny ears, and then it's boom down. She's too nice. She's way too nice. Speaking of which, Ayaka also too nice. Can put up a good fight. So because she's too nice, I think I play the psychological game, right? She doesn't have any friends, so I befriend her. We're friends. We're buddies. Sneak attack out of nowhere. Down. She's out. She puts up a fight though. So I'm gonna say I win, but what did it cost me? Cause in the end, I think I get the edge because she wasn't expecting me, her only friend, <laughs> to fight her so viciously. So I don't think she was expecting that. Yes, she's trained. Yes, she knows how to fight. Yes, I know I probably would lose, but in my fantasy right now, the shock and the betrayal and the surprise was so overwhelming to her that I just win. Next is coming up with Barbara. Immediately I'm annihilating only because I just want to. There's something about her that just really pisses me off and I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because she's so nice. I don't trust nice characters. She seems kind of passive aggressive. I feel like she'll like throw like a backhanded, you know, compliment my way. And then it's over. It's over. I'm gonna yank the pigtails. It's done. So Beto, I'm gonna say I get a punch in. I'm gonna get a punch in. Realistically speaking, if she wants to fight me, that's on me. I did something wrong. I think I get at least a good wallop in. Do I want her to hurt me and beat me up? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> She's winning. Like, there's no way Beto's not winning this fight. I kind of want her to win, so we're just gonna let that happen. Now we've got Bennett. Sorry. Sorry. I don't have to do anything. We weren't by a cliff prior to this, but then suddenly we're by a cliff, and he falls off of it. 
I didn't have to touch him. It just, the universe does it all for me. Whether or not I threw a fist or not is up to the universe. So Chang Yoon, there's something about Chang Yoon that's so bullyable because he's so sweet. So I'm gonna say I'm annihilating him just because I feel like I can. I feel like I can bully the guy. Okay, so D Luke. Hear me out. Are you sure about that? Imagining a scenario in which D Luke doesn't body slam me into the nth dimension is just improbable. He's gonna kill me. Like, come on. But I put it in a fair fight because I can heal from broken bones. But the amount of verbal damage that I would inflict on his psyche is just so immense. He's just never recovering from that. Quite quite simply. I've got too much on this man to not hurl it at him mid-brawl. I can heal from a few broken bones. I could heal from internal bleeding. That that damage? It's never going away. That's why I'm saying it's a fair fight, because who's really the winner at the end of the day? So Diona, I love Diona, but I'm gonna say I win, but what did it cost me? Because she's like a cat. She's got like cat nails. I feel like that's gonna hurt, but I'm still gonna win though, because she's like two feet tall. So Eula, yeah. I'm not surviving that encounter. I'm like gonna ask her like for directions somewhere. Like, do you know where the closest McDonald's is? And then she's just gonna be like, I will have vengeance. <laughs> and then she just kills me right then and there. And honestly, I'm happy for it. Next, we've got Yanfei. Okay, so there's no characters on this list that I actively dislike, but I don't like Yanfei. So I said a disclaimer, these are my opinions, doesn't mean anything, but being a lawyer is one of the worst professions ever. If you're a lawyer, People just see you as being weaselly because it's a very weaselly kind of profession. So how do you go and make one of the worst professions in the world your entire personality? I don't know. I'm annihilating her on principle. She could be like the law. I'm gonna be like the law can't save you now. Fischl, uh, I'm winning. I love Fischl. I know people find her annoying because she just can't stop talking, but I too want to escape this world and pretend I live somewhere else. So I get it, but I'm still gonna annihilate her because I, I can and I will. Ganyu, uh, I think I get one punch in. I think I'll try to like sneak up on her when she's sleeping, but I don't think I'm going to that's gonna get me anywhere. She'll ram me with the horns. Goro? I'm gonna say I win, but at what cost? I mean, he is tiny, so he is a general and he has seen many wars before, but he hasn't seen me yet. So, I mean, I don't think any of those accolades stack up to like the force of pure spite and anger that I bring to the fight, but he does have claws, he does have teeth, he is a dog, so that would prove to be hard, but at the end of the day, I will reign victorious. Next we got Hu Tao, uh, I'm done. I didn't even say anything. And she was like, oh my God, a new customer for my business. Hello, oh my God, I'm just gonna like kill you. <laughs> I think she's just, just wild enough to not pull back any punches. I will be a future customer for her. She's a businesswoman, I respect it. Next, we've got the numero uno, Arataki Ito, the one and only. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. I think it's a fair fight. I think he's just stupid enough that I could like trick him. No, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say I'm annihilating him. <laughs> I will just think of a scheme that will just get him in trouble somehow. Sneak attack, done. I know he's got like muscles and everything and he's like, beefed up. <laughs> I think at the end of the day, I will be able to outmaneuver, outskill and out think this poor poor man i'm sorry arataki i'm sorry next we've got kaya okay i love kaya i don't know there's something about him there's just him and i we just we just see eye to eye you know when i do this <laughs> i'm sorry that was rotten that was terrible i'm sorry kaya <laughs> i'm gonna put him next to his brother because i too have too much ammo on this man oh like more than Diluc. I would just incapacitate him with my words. I I'm not winning, but I think it'd be the same thing with Diluc. He's not making out of it feeling better about himself at the end of the day. Let's just say that. Kazuha, yeah. I don't think I have a chance against Kazuha. I mean, he can smell me. Kaching, I'm gonna say I get one punch in. She's very methodical. She's very like on the nose about things. I think I'd get one yank on her weird cat ears hair. Why is she cosplaying a cat all the time? Is that a professional work environment outfit? Anyway, I'm not winning, but at the end of the day, at least I still have some sense of honor intact. Klee, she's a child. I mean, should I exclude children from this list? Nah. So Kokumi, I'm annihilating. And let me tell you why. I'll get her when she's tired. When she had too many people around her, I'll sneak attack into her little cave and it'll be done. I don't know why, but when I imagine fighting Kokumi, I feel like if I slap her, it's just gonna sound like slapping a wet fish. <laughs> just a good 
That's rotten. Lisa, I'm gonna say I win, but at what cost? I think, I don't think she's very skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat. What am I basing this off of? Nothing. I just know that she uses the book when she fights, so I don't see hands. Mona, I'm beating up, only because she pisses me off. In her quest, she was like, you're my assistant now, and you don't have any say about it. And that just bothered me, so I'm just fighting her. I'm taking that stupid hat of hers, and I'm just gonna beat her with it. Ningguang, I'm gonna say I get one punch in. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't think I'm winning this. She's very elegant, she's very poised, she's very smart, and I don't think I'm as smart as her. Also, she's so rich. She would just beat me with a wad of cash, probably. Noelle, I'm gonna say I win, but but what did it cost me? Because I feel like she'd really try. Like, she'd really be like, if I don't win this fight, I'm never gonna be a Knight of Favonius. She won't. I mean, she's right. I think she'll really, really try. Jean? Jean, I'm not winning. She's, she's too cool. She's too put together. There's just no reality in this multiverse that I'm, that I'm winning against her. Chi Chi? Um... She's done. I don't need to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Razor, I know he's like a wolf or whatever. He's like not a wolf. He's just being a furry all the time. And no matter how much he barks or howls, I'm just not going to stop punching him. Rosaria, no. She's got no reservations about killing anybody or sending them to meet Barbados. Honestly, very hot girl of her. She's she's the hot girl to end all hot girls. Kujosara, I think I get one punch in. Just like one. I think I just yank on her hair real fast, but I think she just elbows me in like the jaw and calls it a day. Sayu, she's a child. I, I feel like it's mean of me. I mean, I know she's a ninja and can fight for real, for real, but I feel like I could just like hold her head far from me in that kind of like movement where I'm just like doing this and she's like punching, right? And I'm like, girl, you done? It's embarrassing. Get up. Shenha, I'm putting her at the top because she wants to kill a She does. She's looking for it. She's begging for it. And I'll volunteer. It's okay. Raiden Shogun, she's gonna go next to Shenha. I'm not surviving. I'm just simply not. She just flick me and I die. There's, there's no way I get out of this. Sucrose, on the other hand, it's done. It's over before the fight even starts. Like, she just, she's a scientist. She uses a catalyst. We don't even know if she could do a hand to hand combat. When she throws her attack, she goes like this, which is very cute, and I love her. Uh, she's one of my favorite characters. But it's done. So, Tartaglia, no. I'm, no, no, no. To put it simply, no. He's so unhinged. I think if I just look at him wrong, it's over. It's over. Toma, fair fight, I think. No. So Toma, I'm gonna put in I get one punch in, and let me tell you why. He's too nice. Let the record show that I think he's too nice, and that I think that he's got several dead bodies in his basement somewhere. This man is too happy, too nice, too outgoing, too helpful. Too many green flags equals a red one. I think he's psychotic. I think him and child, best buds on the crazy look behind their eyes. I do not trust Toma. I know the slander is unacceptable, but I will. If I start fighting him, that's gonna put him over the edge and then he's actually gonna reveal himself to everybody. And everybody's gonna be like, oh my God, are you nuts? And he's gonna be like, yeah. And my dead body's gonna be on the floor. But I'll get a punch in before he does that. Venti, Venti, it's a fair fight because Look, uh, look at my little venti. Oh my god, I'm doing the YouTuber thing. <laughs> look at him. Venti and I, I feel a kinship, if you will. I feel a, a bond, a brotherly bond. I just think there's, I know he's a god or whatever, but I think that we're just on the same wavelength. I think it would be a fun little kiki. I think we'd sit down, drink some wine, and then like maybe drunkily fight each other for a second, and then we'd both pass out. I think that's a, such a fun time. So I'm gonna put Shangling under fair fight because I think we're pretty evenly matched. I wouldn't win because she'd psych me out by being like, I'm gonna eat ya, ah. I'm gonna be like, are you for real? That's gonna deal psychological damage on my psyche and I'm not gonna recover from that very well. So I'm gonna say it's a fair fight. Xiao? I'm just not even, I'm just, I'm just not even gonna try. Uh, Xingqiu, he's done. He's done. I'm gonna take one of his books out of his hand. I'm gonna John Wick him across the face with his Twilight novel. I'm over that guy and his weird bangs. Uh, Xinyan. <laughs> Mommy almost forgetting her name. Very on brand for the meme community. No, I'm gonna say I win, but at what cost? No, I'm annihilating her. Once I get a hand on her little guitar banjo thing in the back and I just like hit her with it, I think it's done. Yai Miko? 
I think I get a punch in, but I think she's just too clever to like actually lose a fight ever. I don't think she's ever lost anything in her in her life, and I love that for her. She is the ultimate hot girl of all hot girls. Uh, so Yoimiya, I love Yoimiya. She's one of my favorite characters. I think it's a fair fight because I think she's very talented. Also, I like her too much, so I wouldn't be going in on her like I would be going in on Chi Chi. Chi Chi never had a chance. I like Yoimiya too much to go full ham. You know, I like her too much. That's on me that I want to fight her for real. Like that's really my fault. Yunjin, I think I'm annihilating her because she's just a theater kid. She's just a theater kid. Zhang Li, I think I get a punch in because I think he just tires me out because he just talks the whole time. I think he just talks the whole time and I just get tired and then I like tell him to shut the fuck up. And then he wins because he's like, oh, you're tired now. And then he just, you know, hits me over the head with a teacup. Ayato, I'm gonna say I get a punch in. I love him, but he's so trained. He's also ruthless too, and he's very cunning. I'm not standing a chance at all. I will take his boba and throw it on him because I will play dirty. Why is there two Shinobus here? Oh my God, there's two Yelons too. Yelon, no, I'm not winning against. Shinobu, fair fight because she's very talented, but also a jack of all trades leaves Johnny a dull boy. What is that? <laughs> a jack of all trades is a master of none, whatever. So maybe she's not a master in kicking my ass. So we don't know, oh my God, what's his name? But I'm just gonna say I get a punch in. Good evening, Twitter. I can't like release this video when Sumeru is so hot and fresh off the press. So I have to include the recent characters that they just released that we all are starting to like know and love. And what better way to welcome them than threatening their life? So that's what I'm gonna do. So first we have Kali. Kali's very sweet, and as we have a track record, uh, I don't trust sweet people. I know she's been through a lot. Some terrible things have happened to her, and some more terrible things are gonna happen to her when I'm done. So I'm a VG. I don't really know too much about Dory. I've seen some of her clips. Obviously, I know about her skill set and all that stuff. Not too much, just because I know that she's a little scrunkly. I'm gonna say that I'm annihilating her. I feel like I can like throw her on her little slime thing and she like bounce right off of it. That's very funny to me. <laughs> so I'm gonna say annihilation. Tainari will be the last one for today. I love him. I'm gonna say I win, but what did it cost me? I don't really have any empirical evidence for it though. I just think I trick him into eating some more shrooms. He's like, oh shit, I'm so high. <laughs> Hey, I'm also gonna do the outro as well because my last outro sucked some real booty cheeks. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching if you made it this far, I really, really appreciate it. This is just one of my silly fun videos that I wanna do more on this channel. They're a really, really fun time and I just like goofing off with some of my favorite characters. Make sure to like the video and subscribe. I mean, it's free. Slap it like it's some booty cheeks. Comment down below if you agree that there's something going on with Toma. Either comment down below, E, there's something wrong with you, you're a terrible person, please seek help immediately, or agree with me and tell me that, yeah, there is something up with Toma, <laughs> okay? Like, subscribe, follow my socials if you wanna, and I'll see you on the next video, and you're a superstar. I love you, bye. I don't think, I don't think that's nice of me to say. <laughs>